afternoon and welcome to my garage. Today um, I am going to fix the mechanical seal uh, which is housed in the KLR water pump. Um, it's a job that needs doing, it's, it's weeping oil uh, so I don't want oil and water mixing. Um, I've also just got the Vulcan ready uh, as it's due for MOT tomorrow, that's also up for sale. Uh, both the Kawasaki's are at the moment. Um, I'm obviously keeping the Himalayan, he's going to stay. But I just thought I'd give you a little insight that, into my garage. So first things first, I'm going to take off the brake lever just to allow access to this a little bit easier. Then I shall drain the water out and then see what's going on behind it. So I'll try and get the impeller off now. There we go, nice and easy. And there we have it, and there's the seals behind that I need to replace. So I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the seal has clearly gone. The, uh, the inner springs are hanging out of it. So I've just got to remove this plate here now. Uh, which I've heard they either come off easy or they're an absolute pain. We'll see. But uh, we certainly found the uh, the cause of the oil leak. One hour later. Ah, right, after much butchery and dremeling and faffing about, I managed to get the old seal out. It's come out in two pieces, but I wanted to uh, not get anywhere near this shaft because it's quite delicate. They Apparently they break really easy, so... All that's left now is to get the uh, the uh, rubber seal out and hopefully I can get the new one in. Woo! So I've just fitted the second seal and found that a uh, 7 8 driver was perfect for, uh, for just guiding that in and getting the seat in nice and flat. So hopefully that's it. So uh, water pump back together and, uh, and that should be it. So a nice old clean up now before it all goes back together and hopefully that will fix the problem so that's the impeller on that's that nut tilt up uh, nice new gasket uh, to go on and uh, just the three uh, bolts to go in and that oh, should be job done and then top them up with water and hope for the best <laughs> Yeah, so that's it for today. So the KLR is fixed, fingers crossed. The Vulcan is ready, uh, recommissioned, ready to go for his MOT tomorrow. Um, and the Himalayan, he just sits there and looks cool, but he does need a bath. So see you uh, tomorrow on the ride to the MOT, which will be my last ride with my lovely Vulcan. See you tomorrow. Good morning and welcome back. Welcome on board the Vulcan. This will be a bit of a first and last. We're heading on the way to his MOT down in Tewkesbury. I thought I'd put myself with the ticket on him because he's up for sale. I haven't started the bike since the 1st of January. And lo and behold, it started first time this morning. What a cracking bike. Sort of question why I'm selling it really with its reliability, but I need the cash. I need the cash to fund the new Himalayan habit. And the new adventures on that. We'll head to the MOT station and I will see you there. Oh, I do like a Nissan Cube. If I was going to have another car, I'd have to have one of those. It's got the backside only a mother could love. <laughs> Thank you.
pretty cool Mercedes estate in front of it. Slammed on the biggest rims I've seen in a while. <laughs> Very cool. So we're just getting towards the MOT station now. Northway Lane MOT. Take all my bikes here, the chop, the Buell. Very fair MOT station. Nice people too. We are. So that's it. That's the MOT passed. No advisories. I think they would be. So we'll be heading back there on the 2nd of April to get the Buell done. That's exciting times ahead. Don't like the look of that sky that's ahead. I've got a feeling we're going to get wet on the way home. Chap that just came into the garage said it was sleeting. So it's a bit chilly today. Hey, Trapont! There's some cool cars around today. I wonder if there's some sort of show on somewhere? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Alright, homeward bound. I don't know if we're going to ride any more today because it's not the greatest of weather. Not that I'm a fair weather rider, of course. But I'll have to clean this up and get it back under a cover. Love this time of year for the, the sunshine and the black skies. It's so dramatic. <laughs> I don't know about riding into it, but hey. <laughs> I've got all my gear on today, so I'll uh, stay nice and dry. I doubt the camera will. I might have to take it off. So tomorrow, as part three of what I'm guessing is going to be a longish upload this week, uh, we're going to go and collect the V-Twins. So the Chop and the Buell are coming home. Haven't seen them for a little while. I know the Chop needs some work doing on it before that can go back on the road, but the Buell should be pretty straightforward. That's now booked into the MOT station. As I said back then, repeating myself. So Sparkle Pants one and Feathers McGraw will come in home. And remember you met Shane, uh, was it last week? At the Stone Circle. Uh, he is going to help me collect them tomorrow uh, in the van. Get them safely tucked up back at home. It's going to be a tight squeeze. It's going to be five bikes in my garage, so working on them is going to be awkward. <laughs> oh my goodness, that sky is getting blacker and blacker. <laughs> So I think I am going to stop and take this camera off because I don't want it to get wet and we are going into some weather.
recording. Is it? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> are you steady? Camera, camera, camera woman, are you ready? Camera person, Good to go. Right. We need a clapperboard. <laughs> It's alright, the man stopped in. Okay, there you go. Go, just to the right, just to practice and say. We can do that in a minute. Are we, uh, are we on the, on the plate now? Yeah, just lean over. Hang on, Jack. Just a tad, if we can. Hang on, use a mat. Sorry, yeah, trap down, sorry. Okay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> you just pulled the door seal off your back. Don't matter, we're in. <laughs> we're in. Thank you. Hey, so we've been to collect Sparkle Pants and the Buell, and they're safely tucked in the back. Oh, look at that. Very shiny and sparkly. Actually, them coming home just means another load of work for me to do in the garage. So there'll be a few more uploads on the uh, various spanner works with them to uh, to get them ready for the season. Um, thanks again to Shane for helping me collect them. Amazing. Couldn't do it without him. Uh, so I've just filled him up with a, a decent sized McDonald's feast and. Uh, Hopefully that'll keep him happy for a little while. <laughs> so yeah, just on the way home now and uh, get them offloaded and try and cram five bikes in the garage. That's going to be interesting. And I'll show you that later. So that's it, the boys are home. This is the Buell. I've had him 10 years, I uh, did a full rebuild two years ago, uh, complete uh, refurb done on him, uh, needs a few little jobs just to go back on the road and then he's booked in for MOT like I said yesterday, uh, just after Easter, ready for April, uh, the chop aka Sparkle Pants, uh, he, again I built it myself uh, ooh, three, four years ago. Uh, came in as a standard uh, stock sportster and uh, manifested into what you see in front of you now. Uh, again, a few little jobs to do on him before he goes back on the road. Uh, so they all fit in here quite nicely, actually. I'm impressed. There's at least space for another, oh, what you say, Shane? Another three at least. Another three at least. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, possibly four. No, 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 no. I've really got to sell the Vulcan. I've got to sell the KLR. They've got to go. You know the rules, the right number is uh, one more than what you've got, N plus one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's so that's it for this week, a little insight of, insight of my weekend. Uh, not much riding, uh, but you know, you can't ride them all the time, you've got to do stuff with them as well. So, uh, so that's about it for this week. See you on the next one.